everyone, it's Katerina with Meet Pure Living, and I know it has been really a hot minute since I have uh, done any videos or anything on my channel. I have been dealing with some health issues, and I just haven't had the energy or really the ability to spend a lot of time filming and editing videos, but... I am here today. I'm actually sitting in my Jeep. Um, I had to run some errands and then I got home and I had a package and I really was excited to open it. Uh, I'm not, I'm sitting in my Jeep to open it because I'm not sure what kind of chaos is going on in the house in there. So I thought, well, I'm just going to open it here in the Jeep, uh, show you guys what I got. It is carnivore related. I was quite excited um, when it arrived and yeah, I just wanted to unbox it really quick. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that one of the places that I really love to order meat from is called Billy Doe. And no, I'm not sponsored. I don't have any kind of discount codes or anything like that. I just happen to really love the quality of their meat. Uh, what I typically order from them is lamb because their lamb is domestically raised. Uh, this, the lamb that you buy in the stores usually is from Australia and New Zealand, and it is delicious. I love lamb. You know, if you, like I said, if you watch my videos, you know that lamb is one of my favorites. Uh, but if you have lamb that is domestically raised, it has less of a gamey taste than the stuff that you actually get from New Zealand or Australia. And no, I don't know the reason why that is. I just know that that is, in fact, the case. And so if I have a little bit of extra funds, I will order from Billy Doe, but I don't do it as often as I would like. Um, however, I did order a couple things. Um, it's a very small box and it's some different stuff. There is a, a old stand by me in there, but there's a couple new things in here that I haven't tried yet that I was really, really excited about. So we're going to get right into unpacking and I want to show you what I got and then we're going to head inside because we're going to cook up one of these things. I'm super excited about it. So one of the things that I typically get or I get a lot um, when I order from Billy Doe is their beef bacon they call it beef bacon or beef belly it is different than like the beef bacon if you were to go to the store and buy a package of beef bacon it's different it's more like pork belly but with beef and they actually call it beef belly or beef bacon on their website when I ordered it the last time which to be fair it's been a while it came in a big flat package but now they're coming in these little small packages but they're pretty thick so I'm thinking that it's probably still the pound yeah it's 1.255 pounds so it's the same amount just in a smaller package and I'm wondering it kind of looks like it might be cut in shorter strips whereas last time they were in the big long like um strip so I got a couple of these um it is again a stand oh stand by me it's one of my most favorite things from them besides their lamb um and then I got okay so I got a couple of these too um one of my other all-time favorite things that I had run across was something called picanha. And I have been cooking the picanha for a while, but since I moved out here back to Colorado, I can't find it anywhere. Um, I'm gonna have to get it maybe from like a butcher or something. And I, I did do um, some due diligence looking for a place that actually has it, but as of yet, I haven't been able to actually get it. So, um, Billy Doe doesn't have the picanha roast, unfortunately, but they had the steaks. They had the picanha steaks. Um, so, just the sliced. <laughs> I'm so excited. I actually got a couple of them. Oh, that's what we're going to go in and cook. Uh, what else? Let me see. I think, um, so this is another package of the, um, the beef belly. Let me see. Sorry, it's loud. So I got three of the beef belly strips and I actually got three of the picanha steaks, which, oh, yep, here's the other one. It's not really big. I will probably, this is probably not going to be enough for me. I can eat, since I typically only eat once a day, sometimes two, but typically one time a day, um, I'll eat a rather large steak and that's not going to do it for me. The other thing, which by the way, this stuff is shipped in dry ice. So if you ever order from them, just be careful. Don't, you know, don't grab onto the dry ice. It can, it can burn you, I think. Oh, that is very cold. Uh, so this is another thing that I haven't tried before. Now, also at Billy Doe, you know, you can get goat and, you know, mutton, all that kind of stuff. And I've tried it all. I've even tried, if you're interested, they have the organ blend. 
uh, ground meat that has all the different organs mixed up into it that doesn't taste like it like liver if it's liver I can't do it I don't know what it is about it but liver and me just not not we're not friends but this is high fat ground meat and if I remember correctly this was like um, 65 35 uh, it's a higher fat than um, even that you know that you can buy in the store because I think the lowest I've seen in the store was the 7327 but I got three packages of this high fat ground meat and um, this one's actually ground beef I didn't see like because you know normally I buy like ground lamb I love ground lamb uh, from them or I've done ground goat and ground goat is good um, but I ended up getting just three of these. So this is a very, very small haul. Nothing like I, I generally will, when I order, I will order like they have these packages where you can get like, you go to like the whole animal and you can order, you don't obviously get the whole animal, but that's the section of their website. And you can order like a package deal that comes with a whole lot of stuff, or you could order individually. They have so many different things. They, they've just got this really great selection and it's just, different like I don't go to the store and find goat I've never found goat in the store not here and not in Texas where I came from so anyways let's go inside I have to go in and make sure that it's not chaos in there because you know I got the two teenage boys I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna do this picanha steak in the air fryer from frozen you know that's become my favorite way to cook steaks so easy I have a video on it if you haven't seen it already I can link it down below uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this from frozen in the air fryer so give me just a second to get inside all right so we're inside now and yes the hat is staying on my head regardless of how ridiculous it looks because I took it off and oh, my hair was doing all the things because it's been on all day. Anyways, we are going to cook this sirloin cap steak or pecan steak uh, in the air fryer. This is the side I like. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite side that you use? I have a favorite burner. I have a favorite plate. I have a favorite cup. My favorite side of the air fryer. I just have this Ninja, let me show you. I just have this Ninja Smart Cook system. Um, it has two separate containers or two separate um, sides to it. That's removable tray. I, I love this system. I have had the double door ones that open. I've had a couple different varieties of them. This one so far has been one of my favorites. I absolutely love that you can cook two different things at two different temperatures, two different ways. Again, not, not sponsored by them. Um, I do have it linked in my Amazon links on uh, my webpage, and um, I can put a link down below if you're interested in it. Uh, it is, I love it because, like I said, I can air fry on one side, bake in another. It's really great. So I'm going to season. I've been on the Redmond Smoked Salt Kicks lately. This was one of their newer ones, the Apple Pecan. Uh, I just put them in canning jars. I buy the bags of them and then I put them in canning jars with lids and stuff, resealable lids, just so that they don't get moisture in them and stuff because sometimes I don't get the zippers sealed. This has been my thing lately that I have all the different varieties. I love all of them, but the Apple Pecan was the new one, so I wanted to been wanting to uh, use it. Um, I actually, because nothing sticks to this, I'm going to actually wet this down. I know that probably sounds weird. I'm going to wet it down so that the seasoning sticks to it and then uh, I'm going to put it in this air fryer. I guarantee that there are other better ways to do this. I'm sure somebody will inform me of what they are, but this is what I do. I do this with all of my steaks regardless. So I'm gonna hit it really good with some seasoning and then I'll hit this side with it. The, I damped, I, I just ran it under the water really quickly. I do that anyways with chicken and pork and stuff like that to rinse them off. So, I mean, I don't think it's gonna hurt it one way or the other. And I'm going to put it in the air fryer. Give me one sec. Let's turn this around. Now, this guy is not that thick. He's pretty small. And yeah, my air fryer's dirty, so just that is what it is. 
Uh, I'm going to put it at 400, and I think I'm going to start out with about six minutes on the first side just to kind of see how it's going to go. Um, and then I will actually, you know what, I'm going to do five. I'm going to do five minutes on the first side, and then I'm going to check it out and then flip it. Because I like my steak to be medium rare, or actually, it's the, the longer I've been doing carnivore, the more bloody I like my meat. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and start it, and uh, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, the first side has gone, come through. And now it's not as crispy as I would like it, but I haven't cooked the picanha in here before, so it's kind of a, a watch and learn or whatever. Oh, that was two pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it, and I'm gonna put it back in here, and then that smoked salt, you guys, smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and air fry it again at 400, and I'm gonna put it in for another five minutes. Um, it's not getting as crispy as I would like it, but that's okay. Also, let me move this real quick. So I'm not sponsored by Billy Doe Meats. I know if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I do love to order from them. It is a personal preference of mine. I absolutely love their goat. I love their lamb. I love their beef belly. Um, but I did just find out that I actually do have a code um, that will give you $15 off uh, your first order if you want to try it. Um, I'm going to link the code down below. I didn't even realize that I had one, um, so I apologize for that. I could have been offering it this whole time. Um, but if you're interested in trying them, go ahead and click on that referral link down below. If you're interested in trying them, I mean, what could it hurt? Take the $15 off, see if you love their meat as much as I do. Um, we're going to go ahead and let this go for five more minutes and then we're going to dig in and I'm so hungry. What time is it? It's 11. It's 11 o'clock here our time. Uh, that's actually a little early for me, but I have been uh, actually really sick. <laughs> I just got off some antibiotics that have really uh, upset my stomach and I haven't been eating as good as I would like. So um, I feel good today and I cannot wait to tear into this. Oh, I can't wait. All right, all right, all right. Mm, I don't know if you can see them. Um, you guys, I'm so hungry. I hope I didn't overcook this, but I may have something because I really truthfully don't know how long to cook it for. Something I've learned on this carnivore journey, uh, especially having been a vegan for so long, is that it's a lot of trial and error. Uh, I know for a fact that I love picanha though, and so I'm super excited to try this. And it is nice and red inside. Let me I don't know if you can see this well. It's good. So I did five minutes on each side at 400 in the air fryer. Oh my god. Mm. It tastes so good, you guys. It tastes so good, especially with that smoked salt. Oh my god, and this fat on the ends here, the fat cap. Oh, this is a thousand percent recommended. I'm gonna inhale that. If you can get your hands on picanha, picanha steak, or even the picanha roast where you can cut the steak off of it, I recommend that you do it. Uh, if not, and you want to try, I can't say enough about it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put the code down below. If you want to try Billy Doe Meat, get $15 off your order. Um, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Just, you know, no no pressure either way. Um, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this really short video. I'm acting like a maniac over here because I'm so hungry. Um... If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you, um, you know, checking this video out. If there is anything that you guys are interested in, I've been saying this my last couple of videos that I did put out. If there's anything that y'all are interested in seeing, I'm sorry, there was somebody out there walking a pig. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, anyway, if you're, you know, 
that threw me for a loop. If there's anything that you are interested in seeing me cook, try, videos, whatever, put them in the comments down below. I do read as many of the comments as I can get to. I absolutely um, I love seeing those. As I was saying, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Um, I am still a relatively new carnivore, having converted from a whole food plant-based vegan diet um, back in just July of this last year. So this is all still kind of a learning experience for me. If you are not new and you've been with me the whole time, I love you. Thank you so much for continuing to support me. I hope you all have a most wonderful weekend. Now that I am back to feeling more like myself, I'm hoping to be able to start putting some videos out again. Um, so stay tuned. But until I talk to you next time, eat your meat.